Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at who is coming towards you in the next couple of weeks. If this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you guys like, share, subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I have those listed in the description box down below, along with ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards that I'm using, I also have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, Virgo, so let's go ahead and see who's the person coming towards you. Who is coming towards my dear Virgos? All right, so we have the world in reverse, so it could be a fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Leo or Aquarius. It may be somebody who's at a distance. So you could be meeting this person online or maybe they're coming in from overseas or, you know, they, li they live in a different town, a different city, a different state. It may also be that you guys have some unfinished business. Ooh, the page of wands. This could be somebody who wasn't taking any action towards you in the past. Um, it may also be somebody who's a little bit nervous. Um, if you know this person or if you've had a history with them, I don't think they're they're coming in, they're being brave about it, but they don't have a whole lot of confidence. Yeah, some of you guys, you could have worked with this person in the past or there could have been some sort of third party intervention. Um, this person, you know, there's something here about compatibility and about teamwork. So maybe in the past they didn't put in a lot of effort or maybe they're not so sure if you guys are gonna be a, you know, make a good match. Um, it's also possible there was some sort of third party situation in the past. How my Virgos are gonna feel, the two of swords. So you're gonna communicate clearly, you're gonna make a decision. Some of you guys, you've been manifesting this person. This is your hope and your dream to have this person come in or come back in. Yeah, Virgos, this is gonna be like a, an answered prayer. This is gonna be something that makes you really happy. Um, strong Aquarius energy coming through. So I feel like my Virgos, you guys are all in, but the person coming towards you, they're, they're not so sure. They're, they're coming in to see if you guys can work things out or if you guys are compatible. Again, they might, they might not be sure about entering into a committed relationship with you very quickly. So just keep that in mind. So the type of relationship it's going to be, we get hanged man, strong Pisces energy, um, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, again, more Pisces energy, and the ace of pentacles. Spirit saying things might take off, you know, pretty slowly, but this is definitely a divinely guided relationship. It feels like you guys, if you give it time, there's wish fulfillment, and this could really blossom and grow into something else. Your advice card, we get Aries energy, six of pentacles in reverse, and the four of cups. So you know what I'm getting here, Virgo? It's important that you do stand in your power with this emperor energy. Um, and with the six of pentacles here in reverse, it's important that you're not, you know, that you make sure that there's an equal give and take, an equal energetic exchange within this connection. Um, you know, spirit doesn't want you to miss this opportunity, but also set very strong boundaries with this person because it kind of feels like they're coming in, they're a little bit nervous, but they're not so sure how things are going to go or, you know, what they have to offer. Or maybe, you know, for some of you, this person, they might have their options open. Um, you know, they might be seeing other people, you know, it might be very new in, you know, this connection, um, so just be aware of that, okay? But I do see that if you take things slow, this could really develop into something gorgeous. The Queen of Cups, so you need to trust your intuition. Um, there's been some sort of difficult ending and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo, if there are a lot of delays and frustrations, if this person is sort of indecisive or on the fence for too long, I do see that you need to trust your intuition and shut it down. Um, there needs to be an equal give and take. And I feel like this person's coming around or coming into your life. Um, they're not quite sure what they want from this connection right now. So it's important to take it slow. Make sure you know what their intentions are. Um, you know, before you, before you get emotionally invested, there is a lot of potential for this to be a beautiful, wish fulfilling, um, amazing connection that can really go somewhere, but it's about how you both nurture this. It cannot be one sided for many of you guys. It is going to be a past person. Okay. And they're holding back, but if they hold back too much and they're on the fence and they make you feel like you're not good enough or they take too long to come around, um, you know, and they're not giving you, you know, they're not letting you know how they feel or where you guys stand spirit saying with a lot of love in your heart, you still might have to shut this down if you're not getting your needs met. The four of swords tells me that you guys could be in separation or there may have been a previous breakup. Maybe you're healing or this person is. So let's go ahead and get some additional messages for my Virgos. 
What would this person like to say to you or what messages does the universe have for Virgo? I run because I fear my feelings. So I feel like this person, they may have pulled their energy back before. Okay, because we get that hanged man, we get that four of swords energy. We also see the knight of cups. This could be somebody who's very in and out of your life or they might be a little bit afraid to make a commitment. But there's potential here for this being a sacred union. It's a very strong soulmate bond and contract, Virgo. All right, I'm taking action towards you. Yes, but they're coming in very slowly. And again, pay attention to that Virgo. Some of my Virgos out there, you're going to be okay with that. And I do feel like you are manifesting this person. You see things very clearly. You want a future. But, you know, set strong boundaries with this person. Speak your truth. Um, I see you glow up, so I grow up. So for a lot of you guys, this is a past person. They might be a little bit in this energy with the five of pentacles in reverse, a little bit of an energy of lack. Like if you've, you know, evolved, you've shifted, you've, you know, done really well for yourselves. And I believe that came out in this full moon in Virgo reading that we just did for the uh, blue moon in Aquarius that my Virgos were really on the up and up here. Um, so yeah, I feel like they, they know that they've got a tall order to fill. Okay. To, you know, meet your standards. So we get pay attention to the red flags. Absolutely. Virgo, don't let them sweep anything under the rug. Again, pay attention to, you know, if they're taking a long time to come around or do you have their undivided attention? Are they seeing anybody else? You know, make sure you're on the same page before you emotionally invest. Cause I do feel that your person may be still a, a little bit in a player energy or they just sort of need to boss up because I feel like Virgo, you have a lot to offer. Okay. So just don't make, just don't allow this person to blur your boundaries. There's some beautiful potential, but with the hanged back, hanged man energy, it's about hanging back, looking at all the details, make sure that their words align with their actions. Yeah. Because for some of you, this may end up being an unrequited love situation or in the past they pulled their energy back and you thought, wow, okay, this was completely over. So this person coming back in again, it feels like you guys have unfinished business with each other. Um, but it may have been an unrequited love situation. I do feel like you're manifesting it. Um, but I also feel Virgo that, you know, it's important to take it really slow. You know, don't, don't go all in with this person because there's a possibility that, you know, mistakes from the past or patterns from the past may still be repeated. All right. So just make sure you set those strong boundaries. You call them out when necessary with that, pay attention to the red flags. And again, if this person makes you wait or they treat you like an option or they take too long to come around or to return your messages, um, or, um, you know, or you just, they don't let you know where you stand. I do feel like the advice here, Virgo, is, you know, 10 of swords with a very heavy heart, you know, it, you're, you're going to have to shut it down. Okay. So it's really about how they come towards you. So we get judgmental. So this person may have judged you incorrectly in the past. They may have made you feel like you weren't good enough in the past. You know, I see you glow up. So I grow up, but that's really just a reflection of themselves and what's going on. Okay. And we get question their past. So it is important, Virgo, that you do check in and see, okay, like what were they doing? You know, who are they? Really take your time to get to know this person. I also see that this is somebody who's quite physically active, um, which I think my Virgos, you guys are going to like. This is somebody who definitely takes care of themselves or you guys have been really like glowing up, paying attention to your, you know, your health and your fitness and your spiritual health and your finances. So I feel like this person is also knows they've got to come in and match that energy. Your final message from spirit is love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So don't shy away if there are challenges, you know, but both of you have to be putting in the work and your final message is if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. So no overthinking this Virgo for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So really, really trust your heart when this person comes towards you. All right. Sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.